What is going on guys? This is Chad. Thank you for watching another Is That Chad Honda Reviews video. Today we'll be taking a look at the 2018 2 liter turbo Accord Touring. Which is going to be in this champagne frost pearl color right here. Beautiful, beautiful color guys. Let me show you a little close up of this color real quick. Hopefully that catches it. It is just... Oh, it's a beautiful color. If you guys haven't seen it in person, make sure you go give it a look. Um, you guys will love the color and love the car. All right. So, as I said, this is the 2-liter Accord Touring. Now, I said 2-liter because the Honda Accord 2018 actually gets two different touring levels. It gets the 1.5 and the 2-liter. I do have a video on each one of these separately, as well as one comparing the two side by side. So make sure you go look through my channel and find those videos if you have any questions or want to investigate further. And also make sure you drop a comment. I do read every comment so uh, I will respond to you as well. So with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into this thing and uh, let me show you some of the the features and, and, and differences between the 1.5. Now just like on the 1.5 you're gonna get LED headlights with high beams, LED and the LED fog lights down here as well. It's really aggressive black front housing. And then of course your color matched parking sensors there. Go ahead and give, show you the side of the vehicle. You're gonna get um, LED turn indicators in the mirror here as well, right there. Of course the car is gonna come with our smart entry system with push button start and remote engine start in it. Now this car is gonna be, like I said, the two liter turbo, direct injected. It's gonna produce a 252 horsepower and it's going to have our 10 speed automatic transmission in it. Now the 1.5, like I said earlier, has the CVT. So this is a different transmission in this vehicle. All right, walk around to the back. You'll notice you have really nice looking dual chrome exhaust outlets there as well as your two liter badging there as well okay here we go you guys let me know what you guys think about the design of this car what you think could be better or what you if you love it let me know let me know your thoughts on it So that's the outside of the car. Let's go ahead and hop inside the car and show you guys what we're going, what we got going on in there. Open the door up. You'll notice your nice, really, really nice wood trimming there. Really small detail, but all of your, uh, all of your buttons have this really nice, like almost like metal looking uh, trim around them, um, which gives it a really nice, complete look. Of course, you're going to have power seating. It's going to be 14-way power adjusting seat with a 4-way lumbar support with, of course, memory seat as well. So, here we are, guys. This is the main cockpit of this car. Let me give, show you guys around real quick. You see all the wood trimming continues all the way around the car. These really nice looking seats. The seats just look awesome. This is our gray interior. Okay, so. Like I said, if you guys want to see the 1.5 touring review, uh, go ahead and look through my videos. You will see that. Um, but let me go ahead and show you guys a way around here. This right here, HUD heads up display. The car does have a heads up display, as you can see right there. Now, this button right here just turns that on and off. Okay. Um, you can also move it depending on your seating position, move it up and down so that you can see it. Um, this is going to control all of your sensing package, which is going to have like lane keep assist uh, with low speed follow, um, road departure mitigation, blind spot info system, collision mitigation, 
So all of those features, as well as your parking sensors right there as well. Now up here, of course you're gonna have paddle shifters right there. You're going to have auto windshield wipers. So as it senses rain, they will turn on and off. This car does have auto high beam as well. So when it senses no headlights in front of you, it will turn the high beams on. And then when it senses the high, like another car, it'll turn those back off for you. Now, if you guys have questions on how to operate the steering wheel, just shoot me a comment and I'll help you out there. Um, here's our radio. As I told you, it is a touchscreen radio. Um, you do have all of your hard buttons here on the sides as well. Um, so if you want to use those. Honda did bring back the volume knob finally, so we are very, very thankful for Honda. Thank you, Honda. Um, this car does have a AT&T hotspot uh, capabilities, so uh, make sure you explore that as well. Now you also have this NFC manager, which is pretty cool. You notice this N right here on the passenger side of the dash. Whenever you have an Android, um, you have what they call NFC, which is Near Field Communication. So you will turn that feature on on your phone, go ahead and touch the back of your phone to the dash right here, and it's going to connect your phone via Bluetooth quick, like instantly. It's also going to allow you to import your pictures from your phone onto the screen to use as like a background or a wallpaper. Uh, if you guys want to do that or want to see that done, make sure you leave a comment in it let me know and I will do that for you okay now I'm gonna go ahead and go down here now down here you're going to see that we have a dual automatic climate control um, with heated seats and ventilated seats uh, the heated of course is gonna get the seats hot the ventilator is gonna actually blow cold air through so that's really really nice now guys really really small detail but something I kind of like to show um, whenever I go to the temperature Whenever I go hotter, you see right here this light back behind actually goes red. And as I go colder, the light goes blue to show what I'm doing. Now the passenger side does it as well. So once again, it's a small touch, um, but I mean it shows how much detail Honda has put into these cars. Um, it's extraordinary. I'm going to go down a little bit more. And you're going to see the wireless phone charger. Now, if you have an iPhone X and iPhone 10, they come with the capability to do it already. Um, your Android, most Android phones, you're also going to go ahead and already come with the capability to use that. Um, if you have an older generation iPhone, they do make cases. Now, uh, Apple makes cases that makes it compatible with wi uh, wireless charging. So look into that. Um, so, like I said earlier, the car does have a 10-speed tra automatic transmission. Now, whenever you get the 10-speed with Honda, you also, by default, are going to get this uh, push-button gear selector. Super easy to use. People, for some reason, get kind of confused by it. But all you're going to do is push the button that you want to be in. If you want to be in drive, I'm just going to push drive. If you want to be in neutral, I'm going to push it. With Verse, the only one you're not pushing, you're going to actually pull it back. Okay, there we go. Now, speaking of reverse, reverse camera is going to be huge. Uh, it's going to be on our radio here. It's going to have three different angles. This is 180 degrees. It's going to have a standard view and a top-down view. And then it's also even going to have our, um, our cross-traffic monitoring as well. Something new through Honda. It, now, when you have your parking sensors on, as I do now, now I'm going to go ahead and go here and now I can see the entire side of my car here. So if I start to get close to something, uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate it. It'll actually beep at me to let me know. As I'm getting closer, there we go. So you can see it's beeping at me as I get closer. Now. There we go. So that's what that looks like. Let me get away from those cars. Um, so guys, that is going to be the conclusion of this 2 liter Accord Touring video. If you guys want to see more about this car, make sure you go through my channel and take a look. Like I said, I do have a test drive in this car and more showing you more of the features and how to work these features. 
Um, if you guys have any comments, please leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do to improve or, or how I can help and assist you. That is what I'm here for, guys. I'm going to read every single one of your comments. So once again, thank you guys for checking out another one of my videos. I appreciate you. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.